Okay, it's me again. I'm out uh, hunting for ginseng. I made a little video uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, well, hell, heck, about an hour ago about uh, bloodroot. And uh, I said I was going to make uh, probably make another one here in, in a few about ginseng. So I found a couple of ginseng plants and also some uh, look-alike plants uh, out here. So I'm going to show you these. Uh, and see this is a ginseng plant the uh, got some berries there one of them's red uh, they're very pod comes right straight up out from in between the three leaves and the three leaflets you'd call them leaflets uh, because they're uh, they got multiple they got multiple leaflets on them. They're leaves, but they got multiple leaflets on them. And one thing you need to realize about ginseng is that all of those leaves, and this will help you identify the ginseng plant, all of those leaves uh, originate from the same point. The two bottom leaves are always smaller than the three top leaves. Now on a really, really young plant, they'll just have like three little leaflets. And maybe they'll just have one stem. Uh, most ginseng will have like three or four stems. And, uh, well, four, three or four leaf stems coming off the main stem. I have seen five, uh, but most common is three or four. Fives are very rare. I've only seen a few in my lifetime. And I've heard of people talk about uh, six and seven and eight and 10 and 12 and 15 uh, leaves on, on uh, ginseng. Uh, that's a bunch of bull crap. Uh, now, there may be uh, multiple uh, stems, main stems, coming off of a root but still yet each one of those stems will be a what's called a three prong or a four prong on rare occasions a five prong so just because you have three or four stems coming off of one root one big root that does not make it a 12 prong uh, plant it's uh it's still a three-pronged plant. The, the main stems still have uh, three uh, leaf, leaf stems coming off of them. Also, you need to realize about ginseng that all three of those leaf stems originate from exactly the same point. Another thing uh, about ginseng is that the, the leaf stems are symmetrical about the main stems. If you've got a, uh, a three-pronged plant like this one is, you will have um, each prong will be separated from the other prong uh, by 120 degrees. You divide three into 360, which is the number of degrees in a circle, so three prongs, uh, three into 160 is 120. So three prong plants, the leaf stems or the prongs are 120 degrees apart. On a four prong plant, they are 90 degrees apart. And of course, on a five prong plant, they would be uh, five into 360, uh, seven, uh, 72 degrees apart if I did my math correctly 5 into 360 uh, and they are symmetrical they're always symmetrical uh, on the main stem so anyway this is a ginseng plant one thing you need to know also about the uh, ginseng plant it's uh, the main stem here it's like a weed. Now you will run into plants out in the out in the forest that'll be uh, ginseng look like, and that'll have a woody stem. 
one plant that will confuse the heck out of you is a little buckeye seedling. A uh, little buckeye seedling, uh, uh, they have uh, five leaves on, on a leaf stem and they all originate from the same point. And uh, these bottom two leaves are um, small, just like a ginseng plant. So a uh, little buckeye plant will confuse the heck out of you as far, and you'll think it's ginseng. And uh, if you're not careful, you'll even start digging it. The way you can tell is first of all, the, uh, the uh, uh, they're not symmetrical uh, about the main stem. The little uh, leaf stems or, or prongs are not symmetrical about the main stem. And also the, the main stem here will be woody. It will not be like a weed, it'll be like a tree. Now, here's another little ginseng plant down here. Um, you can see once again, it's got like three prongs and they are symmetrical um, about the, the main stem. Um, and that's a, definitely a little ginseng plant. You can see the, the stem there is uh, like a, um, a weed. It's not like a, like a plant. There's another one right up here that I'll show you. And uh, it is, uh, let's see, where is that plant? Right up here. Take a look at it. Here is another ginseng plant. You can see there. Um, once again, it's like a, it's got a little uh, berry pod uh, stem coming up out of the center of those leaves. Um, and it, it's got a, 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 a main stem like a, like a weed. Uh, so that's definitely a ginseng plant. That's a three prong. All three of these plants that I showed you, they should have fairly nice roots on them, but not super big. There's that other one. Uh, there's that other little one again, uh, but not super big because you can tell by the stems, um, they're not really uh, super big, but they're all diggable uh, ginseng uh, plants. I'm gonna walk over here, I'm gonna show you a look-alike plant. I've got it marked here. I'd like to show you some more, but this is the only one I see right in this area. Actually, there's another one right down there. Well, maybe that's the one I want to show you. Anyway, if you're not careful, um, this will fool you here. Some people say, okay, five leaflets, uh, ginseng. No, not true. Notice that the little leaflets on the prongs there, they do not all originate from the same point. And also, if you take a look down at the stem, it's a woody-like stem. And there's only two, uh, two prongs there on that. What that is, that's a little hickory. That's a little hickory uh, seedling. And it will fool the heck out of you. Uh, over here is another one, a little hickory seedling. And once again, uh, all of the little leaflets on a prong do not originate from the same point. So, that will fool the heck out of you. Um, one thing you might note is uh, I really don't see any co-wash in this area. Um, I do, however, see spice bush, and I have been told that if you see spice bush, start looking for ginseng. Um, I also don't see any bloodroot. Uh, I don't see any blue blue co-wash or black co-wash. And I don't see any bloodroot, which are good plants to key on if you're looking for ginseng. Generally, if I'm out looking for ginseng in a place, uh, if I don't see uh, co-wash, uh, blue co-wash, black co-wash, uh, bloodroot, or something of that nature, then uh, I generally don't look too much in that area. I may look a little bit, but I, I, what I key on is the co-wash. 
a black co-wash, blue co-wash. If I see co-wash, I know I'm in a good area to look for ginseng. But anyway, that's it for this little video. I shall be posting more of these uh, videos on hunting for ginseng because the season actually opens tomorrow. I'm just out here in the woods today getting stung by yellow jackets and walking around digging a little blood root. Once again, there's that ginseng plant I showed you right at the very beginning. It's a what's called a three-pong plant. It's got um, a little uh, seed uh, stem right there in the middle. And the seed stem always originates from right the very center of the, the three leaf prongs. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And you can watch my uh, other video that I did today on uh, bloodroot. So thanks again, and you folks have a nice day.